Representative Blumenthal, the Vice Chairman of the Judiciary Committee, representing Stanford and Darien, you're the floor, sir. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Unfortunately, I rise today with very sad news. On Friday morning in Stanford, we lost a, a giant of our community. Uh, when Mr. Rogers said to look for the helpers, he could have been talking about uh, Dudley and Williams Jr. He was Stanford's Mr. Fix-It. He was an inspiring leader, someone for whom wherever there was a problem, you could count on finding him there trying to fix it whether it was the achievement gap through the Board of Education, on which he served three terms, including as, to his president, whether it was working to make Stanford open to the future and opportunity through the planning board, where he also served, or instilling discipline and accountability to our finances on the Board of Finance, not to mention too many nonprofits to name, but there are a few. Stanford Achieves, Children's Learning Center, Urban League, Stanford YMCA, Ferguson Library, and of late, leading the Mill River Collaborative. He was somebody who fought for opportunity throughout our community and made nothing but friends doing it. All the while, he enjoyed a long and successful career at GE Asset Finance, Asset Management, excuse me. And he never sought the limelight, so much so that in 2017, when the committee considering the Citizen of the Year for Stanford Award, was uh, brought up his name, they at first didn't think to give it to him because they assumed they had given it to him already. Uh, needless to say, they did award him Citizen of the Year that year in 2017. And more than that, for several of us here in this chamber, he was a dear friend and a mentor and simply a magnificent person who could always be counted on for advice and counsel and service to our community. And so, uh, on behalf of the Stanford delegation, I would like to uh, wish my deepest condolences to his wife Juanita and son Dudley III, and I know that there are a couple of my colleagues here in Stanford who also had relationships with him who would like to speak on his behalf. And so at the end of that, I would ask this chamber to observe a moment of silence. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Representative Blumenthal. I, I did read the obituaries over the weekend and some of the posts that members of the delegation put up and um, sounded like a tremendous person, an individual, and did a lot for your, for your city. Representative Simmons, would you like to comment as well, madam? Uh, we, can, we can make Representative, it's, it's not a bill, so it's okay. We can make Representative Staffstrom's microphone hot if you hit the button, please. If that's okay. Go ahead, Matt. You may proceed. Thank, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I want to join uh, my colleague, uh, Representative Blumenthal, Representative Corey Paris, the whole uh, Stanford delegation, and the entire city of Stanford to offer our deepest condolences to the family of Dudley Williams, to Juanita James, to Dudley Jr. They were, Dudley was a wonderful human being, a devoted public servant, served on our Board of Education, our Board of Finance dozens of nonprofits across our city and was just absolutely a magnificent shining star in our city. He devoted his life to helping others, to helping reduce the achievement gap, to helping fight for special ed students, to help improve our schools and improve our community. He was a devoted father, a devoted husband, a devoted mentor to so many of us. And I'll never forget before I ran for office, I, like so many, got coffee with Dudley at the diner and asked for his advice. And he was so encouraging, so motivating, so helpful, and so passionate about the issues. And I, I came out of that meeting with a notebook full of notes with ideas for how to improve things in our city. And countless people have shared stories like that about he was a men how he was a mentor to them and inspired them to get involved in public service. And our community was so lucky to have this giant who gave so much of his heart and soul to all of us and will forever have his memory in our hearts. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.